depreciates the value of luxury. Uh, personally, I won't allow with me uh -huh. 15 a sack bundles is 150 yeah. you just had to be there the money would come quickly quickly very obedient with the cake cake because i'm the ingredients in the cake cake one place you'll never see me is by the jake big cigars martinis by the lake boss still get a hundred by the face my connect still What's good, everybody? It's your real back here with Battle Rap Media News and Comedy. If you can, hit that like and share. So what do y'all feel about that Hitman Holla and that easy uh, face off? I'll tell you what, a lot of things came out on that alone. Um, a lot of good, a lot of bad. Um, besides that, a lot of people felt like it was staged. I'll be honest with y'all, it was needed. There was no promotion. There was no freestyles going back and forth. I actually did a blog like, yo, where is the action? Where is this, um, you know what I'm saying, spark to where people wanted to see it and actually blog about it. If they would have did this a little sooner, believe me, they would have seen numbers a long time ago. Forget 37,000 views off a of face-off in like one day. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not a league owner. I'm just saying in general, it was needed. Um... I still have it 2-1 easy because of uh, the material that he's going to be spitting. I think Joe Button said it very well. Um, since Hitman, you know, transferred to Wildin' Out, his bars possibly, you know what I'm saying, ain't the same anymore. The hunger ain't there no more, but he does have a lot to prove. I'm not going to say he don't, but it's, it, I mean, re regardless, it's Hitman Hollow. He makes the money regardless. He's a millionaire. So he's, he's good money regardless if he wins or lose. I mean, the only thing that can happen is what? Pay him a little bit less to get booked. That's it. I don't see nothing else happening. Besides that, um, there was a space where Jack Boy Maine was talking crazy about um, Drizzy. And he actually threw in um, all them legends inside there, you know, like he did, they're, they're, you know, D riding and stuff like that. I think that's crazy. He basically was going off on bloggers, and I'm just like, wow. Then he was talking about bars, like um, how somebody can't come out with something brand new, and then like he heard somebody's bars, and he pretty much went to sheet happens. Was like, you know what? Let me give you the credit because a lot of people are trying to sound like you. Um, to be honest, you still got to be creative to make bars. Regardless, um, even though the format could sound a little like Sheed, regardless, they still got to spit the bars, remember it, and make it happen without messing up. But that's everybody in hip hop at one time. Everybody want to be like the East Coast, and it goes on, man. I mean, this is never going to die out in history, ever in hip hop, battle rap, whatever. Regardless, come with your three rounds. Make sure your material is not, you know what I'm saying, somebody else's and you good money. It doesn't matter who you sound like. Regardless, you're going to still get booked. Besides that, I was watching a, a Chris Umbias, uh blog he had today with uh, URL. And he said basically they, they're definitely taking a big hit here. Now, I'm going to be honest, uh, Remy Ma, she's got... A lot of connections in the industry and that's something smack don't want to do not including Remy Ma is a female you know what I'm saying so we're just gonna throw that out there and a lot of guys lust for her and think she's hot and that's just what it is so somebody in that ma you know magnitude can go far now smack ain't gonna break bridges with her he's gonna just have to sit back and take that L you know, she's got connections with, you know, Funk Master, you know, Hot 97. We, we can go on. Anything East Coast bound is the same zones as Smack, where he's from. So he know what up. Ain't nothing like having issues with Fat Joe and all of them. So he's got to take the L. Ain't no courts. Ain't nothing. He just got to take the L. Now, if y'all pay attention to the Joe Button podcast um, interview with Easy. Yo, she was like, Ar Arsenal got called. Now, she was just like, yo, we are on air. You know what I'm saying? Don't say too much or whatever. I understand. You know what I'm saying? We're trying to promote. It looks like she's booking more males. 
So this is not the last thing that she's going to be doing. Looks like an arsenal, an easy battle. Because you can hear her say, basically, yo, uh, don't say no more. I want to make sure, you know, and she cut it off. She didn't go into full detail, but she wants to book that match. I don't know, man. I don't know. But I tell you what, Remy's here to stay. But, yo, I'm, I'm just going to watch the moves and see where it goes. Because there's a difference between booking and it's all right, take the L through, you know, certain cuts and 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 sneak points on a contract but to sit there and continue booking big stars like that i don't think it's gonna go down like that i don't know eventually something's gonna abound to uh shoot off i'm telling you this now mark this date right here you know what i'm saying and that can cause a lot of ties in the industry all that to where smack might be banned from certain areas vice versa you know what i'm saying with remy but this is remy mark so it doesn't matter. She's good. And then you got Pat Poos as the president. Man, man, I'm just gonna leave it right there. Regardless, let's see where it goes. You know what blew my mind was basically how um, uh, Remy. No, no, it was easy. He came out and said, you know, they were talking about certain people. You know, not coming with three rounds, messing up. Like he was like talking about chess, but low key, you know, killing his character for the. You know, he's like, yeah, I really want to listen. And talk about real battle rappers. Like, he doesn't respect the fact that you don't come with three rounds. And that's just what it is. But when Easy mentioned Shuni, I don't know if y'all heard that. He was just like, oh, I don't even know who the hell Shuni is. I was just like, wow. I even wrote it on the uh, on the message on the uh, channel, man. Like, yo, you don't know who Shuni is? Wow, that's crazy. Like, and you're hip-hop, but you don't know who Shuni is. But the other dude did. You get what I'm saying? The other guy knew who Shuni was, so that's wild to me. I guess, hey, Joe's worried about more about his, you know, his podcast and stuff. I can understand that, but Shuni's been around for a while, bro. Long time. If you know about C3 and certain people, like, you should know about Shuni. Just throwing it out there, though. But shout out to uh, Joe out there, man. Continue doing what you're doing. He did um, control that crowd very well. I've seen that. And that comes with experience, and he's getting better at what he's doing. So, yeah, his channel and what he got going on, a lot of people need to just watch what he does. And if that's something you want to get into, pay attention. Pay attention to the channel. Um, but, yeah, man, that's all I wanted to come out and say tonight. You know, um, I still have the same results. Easy 2-1. Easy uh, ended up getting, like, three more challenges right after this. So, <laughs> he already got Geechee on his neck. He's got uh he's got Arsenal, um, Twerk. I mean, it can go on. And I don't know if anybody paid attention how Daylight, I don't know, I know, I know Daylight's a type of person, he don't listen to certain things. He ended up showing some type of deal he ended up getting and that he's gonna end up going to Africa because he ended up getting a piece of land and all this. But he did mention one thing. He said that him and Twerk are locked in. Y'all tell me who you got winning on that. But if y'all can, man, hit that like and share, man. And if y'all can, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I'll be posting up a lot of funny things like uh, Caution and Lady Caution. Yeah, they need to battle for the names, you know what I'm saying? Um, also, I threw out there how uh, there's a guy named Sub-Zero that used to work with Smack. He did all the magazines, DVDs, all that stuff, right? And the covers um, He's talking about math um, I'm not going to get into too much detail But I threw it up on Instagram And I threw it up on Twitter He basically saying he got general herpes Allegedly You know what I'm saying That they that mass smashed some type of chick And pulled the condom out Allegedly And she basically broke this down To Sub-Zero If y'all check out his channel he breaks it all down check that out though it's kind of crazy how he's talking about man but this is surreal if y'all can hit that like and share but i'm out man y'all be safe man one